What is up guys? Jake here with the next Vainglory beginner series video and this one is going to be on item upgrading. If you guys had been following the second channel when I was posting these videos there, this is sort of a repeat of a video, but I know there's a lot more people watching them now, so I think it's very important to put this one out there. This is probably the number one thing I wish I had knew had, had known when I was just getting started in Vainglory. So let's get right to it. When you go into the shop and you want to start deciding okay I'm gonna buy I'm gonna start working towards an inline item this is these are referred to as tier one these are tier two and these are inline or what we would call tier three uh, so when you're saying okay I'm gonna pick an item let's say I, for instance I want to buy sorrow blade that's what I want to go that's the first thing I want to get in this game there is a specific way you should go about buying it. It's something that I did not know when I was playing. I just sort of willy-nilly, what I would normally do is I would buy a weapon blade. Uh, when you click on Sorrow Blade, you can see there's only two paths you can go uh, to get to Sorrow Blade. So I would buy a weapon blade, I would save up my money, I would upgrade it to a heavy steel, then I would save up my money till I had enough for Sorrow Blade, and I would purchase Sorrow Blade. And there you go, I had it. But that is definitely not the way to do it. It's not the most efficient and it's not the most cost effective. Let's talk about how is the best way to do it. When you look at an inline, you're going to see that it has two paths that you can take to get to that ability. Okay, One is going, they're both starting at Weapon Blade. Uh, from there, you can go, you can buy a Six Sins and you can buy a Heavy Steel, these Tier 2 items. So in essence, you would have to get two Weapon Blades. You would be able to upgrade one. Let's say if I bought this Six Sins, you see down here that it actually replaces that Weapon Blade with a Six Sins. And then when I save up the money to buy Heavy Steel, it would actually replace that Weapon Blade with that. Now, if I have these two items and I buy Sorrow Blade, what you're going to see is it combines the two puts them in one spot, one slot, and combines them for that. The great thing about doing it this way, if I look, if I look at Sorrow Blade and I would say, okay, I want to save up my money and buy Sorrow Blade, it's 3,100 gold. However, if I buy a Weapon Blade, watch the price of Sorrow Blade, it goes down by 300 gold, okay? And it's a, it's a perfect exchange. When I upgrade the, the, in this method, you are going to get exactly your amount of money back. If I screwed up and bought Weapon Blade and didn't want it, I could sell it for half price, 150 gold. But when I upgrade it, it's a, it, I don't lose any money doing it. So without a doubt, the best way to upgrade is, if, if we, again, if we wanted to go to Sorrow Blade, is to buy the, the Tier 1, and you want to buy both Tier 1 items. Let me tell you a little bit about that. If you look at Weapon Blade, what it gives you is 15 plus 15 weapon power. If I want to upgrade to tier two, let's say six sins, it gives me 30, which is just like having two weapon blades, but the price, 350 versus 300. So when you're first starting out, it's best to go ahead and buy two of the tier one items before you upgrade them. It's the most bang for your gold or the most bang for your buck uh, doing it that way. So when you, the first thing I would do is buy two weapon blades when I can. Then if I when it was time to upgrade, I would probably go ahead and buy the six sins. Again, watch the price of Sorrow Blade. Uh, I would buy it simply because it's cheaper, but we're at 2,500. If I buy a six sins, it drops by 350. So again, every time I'm upgrading, I'm getting all of my gold back when I get that in line. Then if I buy my heavy steel, uh, it drops again. Now I only need 1,300 gold to grab that Sorrow Blade. And when I upgrade it, it combines the two. So no matter which inline we're doing, like if we look at Serpent's Mask here, it also has two paths to take. Uh, no matter which one you're doing, it is always, always better to do it this way. If I'm going Breaking Point, it's best to get my Swift Shooter, uh, then going uh, from the Minion's Foot to the Lucky Strike and to the Breaking Point from there. So as you go down through here, as you'll see, there's two for all of them. Uh, just decide which inline you want to get and start working towards it that way. You're going to get all your gold back. And the advantage to doing it this way is in the example of Sorrow Blade, let's say, if I have two, uh, let's say I've got this right here. What I've, I've spent the money and, and I'm broke. This is all I can afford to upgrade. But instead of saving up for Sorrow Blade, when I'm farming, when I'm in team fights or just fights in the jungle or in the lane, I'm getting the benefit of that extra weapon power while I'm upgrading. You see what I'm saying? It's, it, you get it as you go. It's, it, there's no sense of running around with that extra gold when you could have it in the form of stats. You know, it's, the, the gold's there. It's like putting it in the bank. 
but you get to have it as you uh, fight through the game. Whether it's for farming or whether it's for uh, fighting against the enemy, it's going to be better for you. And again, just take the three seconds to click on the end line that you want. Actually touch on it. See the path. I want a bone saw. Okay, I need to get. I need to go piercing spear and blazing salvo. I know that. Start shopping, start finding, do whatever you want to do. Uh, same thing for the ability end lines. If you look at Shattered Glass, uh, those two two paths there, let's say I want to get an Eve of Harvest, uh, they all have two paths. When you get into defense, again, they all have two paths, same situation. It's best to get both of them. Uh, that's the way to upgrade. The one exception is down here in the armor section. Metal Jacket and Atlas Pauldron, there's only one path. There's no way to uh, spread it out and upgrade that way. A lot of the utilities is that way. St contraption, we talked about rushing contraption. Absolutely best thing to do is buy your Iron Guard contract. Uh, Storm Guard banner is very expensive, so probably would buy an Hourglass and then maybe your Storm Guard banner, but then get that Chronograph and just upgrade that way. And it's, again, it's, you're going to get the benefit of the Chronograph, of the Storm Guard banner, all of that, while you're saving up for contraption. Uh, this might seem like something very, very simple, and I guess it is, but for me, it was a very uh, big light bulb moment. It was like, aha, and it felt so differently playing the game. I felt like I was uh, stronger in fights. I felt like I farmed better. I felt like I, I knew more what I was doing, and so I hope this helps you guys. Items and upgrading and purchasing is the most confusing part of this game, and it comes. I know it's frustrating at first. Hopefully this helps, and we're going to get more into what you should be buying based on uh, your hero, based on your role in the, in the group, and based on the enemy as we progress through this game. But this is a beginner's guide to upgrading and just giving you that, uh, that realization that that is the, by far the best way to do it. Always upgrade going down both those paths and you're going you're gonna to like it better. You're going to feel better. You're going to farm faster. You're going to win more fights. And uh, it's just going to be better for you and your team. Hope this helped you guys. Until next time, Jake, doing my best to help you guys suck less.